Hello and welcome everyone. This is a short tutorial on how to recalibrate and reprogram the parameters of the MovieTech and ABC remote heads, especially the P10 remote head, the Pele digital and the Alex digital. Well, in order to do so, we first have to download the software. Um, you're gonna find the software on the website of the manufacturer of the motor units, which is called Faulhaber, so faulhaber.com. Here you're going to find the um, category support, under which we can download the Faulhaber Motion Manager. Um, in this download section, you will see the Faulhaber Motion Manager. The current version is 6.8. Um, if you go on further versions, you will see that there's another version 5.4. Please download this one as it's way simpler uh, for our use. So just download it and install it and then we're ready to go. Right after successful download and installation of the software, we can now open our motion manager, which I got here. Um, it now tells me that there is an, an error because it cannot find the interface COM3, which is correct because I didn't connect the remote head to the laptop yet. This is what I'm going to do now. So I'm using a zero modem cable to connect to the remote head. Uh, in order to connect the zero modem cable to the laptop, I need an adapter from zero modem to USB. I'm now going to connect the remote head to the laptop and I will just press scan in order to look for new connections now and as you can see the uh, motion manager found the motor unit which we got here in this case we are having the pan axis connected to the laptop we now have two different options we can either basically download the software and values values that are on the uh, remote head um, and adjust them second option would be we can just open a program basically a standard program that is being delivered with your remote head uh, on a either CD or USB drive, flash drive. Um, first option would be downloading the uh, values from the remote head. In order to do so, we have to press terminal and then uh, receive data, sequence program and confirm. And you will now see that these are all the values that are now written on the remote head. Um, I'm going to show you the other way as well. So if we now want to open a software or a program that is the standard program, I open my CD, um, open the pan program and upload it. And you will now see this is a bit more uh, easy uh, and more comprehensive. You will see different values that can be changed. So here we have the SP value, which stands for speed of the axis. We're only talking about the pan axis at the moment. Um, MAV value, that's the sensitivity of the joystick. And we also have the ramp values. So for ramp position one, two, three, and four, which is the accelerator acceleration value and um, like basically the stop ramp which can be also adjusted and you see the values are different uh, depending on the position of the ramp switch so to give you an example of uh, how to change the values um, I'm let's say quickly gonna change the value for joystick sensitivity um, uh, which is the MAV value the joystick sensitivity is now set to 500. Uh, you can see here uh, it's possible to set the value between 10,000 and 1, with 1 being the most sensitive value. So if we want to have the joystick more sensitive, we can, let's say, use value 300. Um, I would suggest to change the values step by step, so not go uh, all the way to the minimum or maximum, but uh, just change them slightly. Um, so we now need to upload these new values to the remote head. 
in order to do so we have to type terminal and um, transfer data sequence uh, program and we now okay now it's asking us whether we want to s uh, save it yes uh, trans transfer it yes so now these this new program is up on the remote head but with what is very crucial is we need to change the um, IPROM which is the um, basically the, the memory of the remote head uh, we have three different commands that we have to type in in order to actually save the new value uh, otherwise after switching off and on again this uh, new value would be uh, set back to the old one so the three commands are en confirm en proc enprog so okay and then eepsav eepsav Okay, now it confirms that EPROM writing is done. So now this new value is on the remote head, on the pan axis, and you will immediately feel that the um, sensitivity of the joystick is much more direct and the window of the joystick being tilted until it moves is um, way smaller than it used to be. You can do that accordingly to the other values as well. Um, and in case you you have a problem and you typed in something wrong, you can always upload the standard program again that is on your CD or flash drive. Thank you.